Your dental crown fell out? Let's talk about what to do. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to say, first things first, if your crown fell out, do not attempt to glue it back yourself. I only have to say that because lots of people do attempt DIY dental crowns at home. Like I've had patients that tried to super glue their crown back to their tooth only to find out that it was a very bad idea. Because crowns don't work like that. You don't want to try and permanently glue it back because you'll trap bacteria and saliva underneath it, which sets you up for a host of other complications. Tooth decay, which leads to tooth infection and then to tooth loss. Instead of trying to fix it yourself, you should store your crown in some type of sealed container. Maybe it's a plastic baggie or a kitchen container basically just try not to lose it especially if it's not broken if it just popped off it's still intact and you save it you will save lots of money because oftentimes when you bring it to your dentist they can bond it or cement it right back onto your tooth of course not until after they are done cleaning it and prepping the tooth so it's free of bacteria and saliva only then will they bond or cement your crown back into place but regardless, my point is it's a lot cheaper to use the same crown that fell off if you can, as opposed to having them make you a whole new crown. Now, if it's a front tooth and it's during the daytime and you're having a cosmetic crisis, if you don't want people to see that you're missing a crown, I get it. Until you can get to the dentist, something you can do is use a smear of toothpaste or temporary dental cement from the drugstore to let me emphasize, temporarily put it back in place. And when I say temporarily, I mean until you can get out of the public away from people seeing you and only if you're 100% certain you're not going to accidentally swallow it. Because if that happens, well, you're probably not getting it back and then you'll have to pay for a new crown. When you call your dentist to tell them your crown fell off, if they ask, is it an emergency? What do you say? Is it an emergency? I'd say it depends on your situation, right? So here are three examples. Quick dental interruption. If you really like teeth and want to learn even more about teeth, I recently just started sending out a weekly toothy newsletter and there's a link in the description box below. All you have to do is enter your email to receive toothy tips such as whitening hacks, how to afford the dentist, and all that good toothy stuff. Hope to see you there. Now back to the video. Situation number one, if your crown fell out and you're in pain, yes, it's an emergency. Situation two, if the crown that broke off is in the front of your mouth and everyone is going to see it, like say you have a big presentation coming up at work or school, then yes, it's a mini emergency. But situation three, if the tooth is not visible when you're smiling, nothing hurts, and you can easily eat without chewing on that side of your mouth, you're chewing on the other side of your mouth, you don't see it, it's not hurting, it's not an emergency. But it's still urgent. I'd say emergencies are same day appointments and urgent are as soon as possible, right? Because under no circumstances should you be chewing on that tooth. You know, it is pretty difficult to avoid chewing on an area of your mouth when you're eating, so it just depends how long you can do that. If you need to eat between now and when you see your dentist, try to stick to softer texture foods and carefully chew them on the other side of your mouth. And go slow, because you might forget and bite down on that tooth where your crown fell out. And if that happens, it is possible to split that little tooth stub in half, which which would really be a bummer because if you damage that little tooth under where your crown once was, then you'll probably need a root canal before they can cement the crown back on. Or worst case scenario, if it's too broken, then an extraction is sometimes your only option that's left. You really don't wanna damage that little tooth that's underneath your crown. So if your crown fell off, call your dentist right away. And once you schedule your appointment, if you were able to save the crown that fell off, bring it in your little baggie or your container, because most likely they will be able to just cement it back into place for you, but there's always a chance you might need a new crown if the crown itself is broken or has structural damage. But bring it just in case, you never know. And of course, like we said, if something goes wrong with a little tooth stub under the crown, if you damage that, there is a chance you'll need a root canal plus a new crown and worst case scenario, an extraction. In conclusion, if your crown falls off your tooth and you don't feel the urge to rush to the dentist's office to get it fixed because it's in the back of your mouth and nobody can see it and it's not bothering you, I get it. You're like, hey, it doesn't hurt, it can wait. However, like we just said, be aware that now there's a higher chance that the tooth stub under it can get damaged. So you really shouldn't wait. Waiting will only lead to an increased risk of tooth decay, breaks, or infection. So to prevent all of that, call your dentist right away. And I will link my affordable dental care video in the description box if finances are currently an issue. That video gives lots of great resources to find affordable dental care. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Peace! love and teeth.